Hey guys and dolls out there in YouTube land, favorite little keto goofball diamond back again. This is day 529 of my ketogenic journey where I'm trying to go from a former plus size model down to a keto cutie. Going quite well. Here's what I ate yesterday and we'll get to my weigh in and the chit chat in a minute. You'll get to see what I did yesterday and some of today. Bear back. Yes, I'm breaking my fast at uh, Popeye's today with five black and tenders, a thing of ranch, and some water. The only thing I don't love about this meal is the price. <laughs> hey guys, so I made a cheeseburger salad tonight, but I made it differently than I normally do make it. So this is ground beef, lettuce, mayonnaise, bacon bits, mozzarella cheese, all mixed together. I forgot. I went. I decided not to go with the ketchup because I think that is affecting me. Um, but so this is what I'm eating. Yes, I didn't really care for the last thing I ate, and I didn't eat all of it. I didn't eat but about half of it. So I made me a bacon egg and cheese omelet with some mayonnaise in it. This sounds better tonight. Yes, I forgot to record this, but I had two ham and cheese roll-ups and some pork rinds. Yesterday's macros, 1,978 calories, 20 grams of carbohydrates, 147 grams of fat, and 132 grams of protein. Again, about 16 of those don't count from the pork rinds, but... Yum. <laughs> it's a good day. Hey guys, so this is from my fitness pal. I just thought it was cool. I just put my way in from this morning. It says 116, but it originally my it said my first way in was 312. I don't remember being 312, but okay. So 116. But I have been logged into my fitness pal 566 days. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> And it's, um, it's just kind of the main page. But this is the site I use or app I use to track my food. Of course, everybody's different and you prefer different things, but this one's easy for me. Oh, and a little trick to help you always remember to log in and, and do your food. Leave this page up at all times. I never close this, this tab. And if I open Google for any reason, this tab is one that opens first. These three tabs are the ones that open first. Hey guys, so I had to do this because I just read something online. It says, uh, it's not a TR. I bedazzled my horns. <laughs> what are you getting ready to do? Um, go out with Destiny and Daddy. Uh-huh, and do what? And go to my, and go to my birthday dinner. Birthday dinner, yeah. Oh, stand up, baby. Where, where are y'all going? Stand up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> where are you going, Zach? Waffles. Waffles? <laughs> Say Waffle House? Waffle. Oops. Waffle House. Okay. I love you. I like you. I got you. <laughs> I'm so handsome. I did a good job, Grace. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I promise, baby, your shoes on. Hey, Zach. Zach, Zach come back. Like. Come back. Come back. Say hit like, honey. Say hit thumbs up. Hit thumbs up. Say because I'm a cool dude and it's my birthday. <laughs> Can you say I'm a cool dude? No. You stop kicking my bro or I'll kick you in the butt. <laughs> my bro was expensive. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, come on. Let's get, let's get your shoes on. Daddy will be here in a second. <sighs> Grandma life. How did they sing happy birthday to you? She, he did it. And I only everybody sing. How, how did they sing happy birthday to you? They said happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. I love. Wait, come back in front of the camera, dude. I love you. Hard to believe you're five years old. My goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hey, guys. So, I just got some pretty good news. Um, my daughter and son-in-law began moving their stuff in at my parents' house, which is back on the family land and family property, so we can all be together again. Um, I feel bad for, his other, for Anthony's other grandma because I know that she wanted to spend a lot of time with him. Um, but Corey has suffered from some, some depression in the past, and... She's very unhappy in their home, and it doesn't feel like home to her, so she wanted to come back home. And, of course, Anthony and Aaron are coming with her, and they started moving their stuff in tonight. So, yay me. <laughs> 
And these pictures came from tonight while I was watching the babies while they were moving in. Somebody's curled up in Debbie's lap, trying not to wake up yet. Sorry, I'm watching Rihanna Harris right now. But. It's his birthday! He's Somebody's five, and he's not trying to wake up. <laughs> Hey, what's today? Um, we're going to the dollar store and McDonald's. For his fifth birthday? Yeah. And, and he, he managed to find, he got a dollar out of my piggy bank last night. He found two dollars at the Waffle House in the parking lot and he went up and hit my parents up. Daddy gave him two dollar bills and Mama gave him a dollar. And then he said, but I want more. And my dad said, well, all I have is quarters. And he said, I'll take quarters. So he's now got $16. $9.50 of those are in quarters. Are you happy? Yeah. And what's this called? What's what? this called? A pill bottle. A pill bottle? Because Grandma puts <laughs> quarters in pill bottles. Don't worry. It's cleaned up first. But anyway. So he's going to have a ball at the dollar store. I would take him somewhere else, but I know how he is, and he loves to just pick out random toys. So, what do you think? Cool? Happy birthday to you? Yeah. Yay! Mm hmm What shall I get? You don't need too many swords, honey. You happy? Yeah, because I buy all my stuff. So guys and dolls, there's, there's something I want to tell people because I don't think everybody realizes it. But parents, grandparents, friends and family, time spent is far more important than money spent. This kid will remember going to the Dollar Tree and picking out everything he wanted to for his fifth birthday and taking a ride in the pickup truck and, and, uh, and going to KFC because he changed plans on me. We're going to KFC instead of McDonald's. Um, but, <laughs> but he'll remember this time spent together far more than he'll remember any gift I could have got him. I don't care how expensive it was. This, this is more important. You don't have to be rich to be loved and to enjoy yourself. Ain't that right, baby? Yeah. But you like money, right? Yeah. <laughs> I do. And also gold. And gold? Yeah. Well, I like gold too. That's cool. Are you beating up your great grandma? Say why not? Say why not? <laughs> Say why not? Say <laughs> not? Hey guys, so as you know, today was my grandson's fifth birthday. He's had a wonderful, marvelous day. Um, and it was, it was a really good day. The only thing, um, let's see. I want to go ahead and get to my weigh-in because it's kind of a big section of this today. Um, yesterday, right after I finished my video, I went to the restroom and I noticed bleed issues had come up, which is like the third time in like a month and a half, I believe. I'm not positive on that. I have to actually check. I might just be on time. I don't really know. But uh, <laughs> it, it, is, it does seem quite frequent. But for me, having one or two ever, it's frequent. So I don't know. But I was surprised that yesterday my weight dropped like that. And then I uh, discover I have lady issues because usually your weight doesn't drop as you gear up and hit those particular things. So that's quite wild. <laughs> um, it's an indication too that most likely when the lady issues pass that my weight could drop again, another whoosh. So yay. The only thing is I don't think I'm going to be as lucky tomorrow. Because uh, today I took my grandson to KFC. He, oh, we were going to go to McDonald's, but he decided he wanted chicken with bones in it. That's what he calls them. Um, and I got him a meal, and I ordered uh, three grilled chicken thighs. This day, I paid for it and sit down. Excuse me. Hold on, sweetheart. Um, when they brought it out to the table, it was three original legs. Well, I took it back up there. I, I ordered grilled chicken thighs. We don't sell grilled chicken no more. And she was quite ugly and rude about it, to be honest with you. Um, but, okay, well, you know, why did I get legs? That's what we have. In interest of it being my grandson's birthday, I just took the damn legs and sit down because 
they were intentionally being rude. Um, but anyway, I went and said, I just did. I was like, you know what? No. And, uh, so I look it up on, like, the, you know, online to see how many, uh, carbs are in those chicken legs. It's only four per. I've got three legs. I think, well, it's 12 carbs. Maybe I can get by with it. So I ate them, and I don't think I got by with it. My feet feel kind of swollen and, like, tingly. Uh, I've got a little bit of a headache going on. I'm a little, um, like, anxious or, um, annoyed easier right now and it tells me kind of I've, I've probably been kicked or there was definitely enough to affect me so there's no telling between the two things how much my weight will be affected by that maybe a little maybe a lot maybe none at all hard to say but I do think that drop yesterday I'm very pleased with that drop because I'm telling you that I know now three things that really were affecting me up in my calories definitely helped. Um, I feel so much better. I started feeling so much better right away. And I've never really been low calorie anyway. But um, I was around the 1200 mark many days, 1400 many days. But pulling them up to about 17, 1800, I feel better. And I'm wondering if a few months back, um, probably about six months ago, if the low calorie was the reason my hair started shedding like it did. Um, it wasn't too bad. It lasted about three months, and it's all started coming back. But the top part of my hair is definitely thicker than the bottom now because it broke off, and it's longer here. It's it's grown through, grown through. Now, luckily for me, as y'all can tell, I mean, most of y'all remember back in April, I cut my hair up to here, and that's like a naturally long growth. But my hair does that. It just grows. My nails do it too. They grow so fast, um, and I've always had that. I don't know what causes it, but. It's cool. I'm glad for it because a lot of people, you know, they complain about their hair not growing fast enough and their nails not growing fast enough. And I don't have that particular problem, but I've got like everything else. So, <laughs> um, I'm just wondering if that, that has anything to do with my hair thinning like that. And, um, I, w I think I'm going to go back to my old videos. That's another great reason when you're shooting every single day. You can go back and see what was going on that predated that for a week, for months, and see if that could have been an issue. So I'm going to go back into my old videos in a little while and just see what all I was doing probably three months prior and, and up until and see if anything changed afterwards as well. So we'll see what that brings in. <laughs> I do have a little cold. It's not as bad as what everybody else around here had. I mean, there, there was flu stuff going on here. And I think that skipped me. I hope so far anyway. So far, I'm lucky. <laughs> if, if it hasn't skipped me, it hasn't happened yet. So, but a little cold, a little tiny cough, a little sinusy, but not too bad. <sighs> I know this video is boring, guys, because girls had a long day. <sighs> oh, some other things that also helped me lately. Um, staying away from the ketchup. Now, of course, ketchup again is a nightshade. Uh, well, tomatoes are a nightshade, and ketchup they added sugar to it. So it's just like your spaghetti sauce is made of a primary nightshade, and then they add sugar to it. So I think those things have been affecting me. I don't really know, but I do believe they have. So staying away from them probably has helped, and um, also getting more sleep. Now last night I didn't get as much sleep as I normally do, or as I had been trying to get. I didn't get eight hours last night. Grandbaby decided to crawl up in bed with me this morning, and it's a little hard to rest when he's laying on your head. So, anyway. Guys and dolls, I'm going to get off here. I've uh, probably been talking forever anyway. Much love to you. I will be back tomorrow. There's some videos I'm working on that's in the works to um, to help more people get on keto. and or, or to help more people understand keto better. Maybe even help people who's been doing it for a while. I learn new stuff every single day. It is not an absolute knowledge journey. It is a... Learn as you go. Some things will work for you that doesn't work for others, and some things will work for others that don't work for you. It, it's very interesting. It is, it is a give and take, tweak around journey, but it's been a great one, and I love it so much. And if you need my help, ketodiamond.com, or all my contact information is below. Do not be afraid to contact me because I will help anybody who needs me. It's too important to not help people with this. It's life-saving and life-changing. Much love to you guys and dolls. See you tomorrow.